Hey Ko, I don't like Souls games, but seeing you play this sounds fun. How is it difficult for this game? Is it reach a point of frustration or it's fun difficult? So, Souls-like games, as a part of what they are, are challenging. Souls-like games are for people that find fun in challenge. So, there are ways to play this game that make it much easier. Like if you were to you do a magic playthrough, that's much more preparing for fights than, than doing the fights. There are also certain builds, like for instance, for brand new players to Souls, Vigor. <laughs> brand new players to Souls, your stat is Vigor. And you raise Vigor <laughs> until about 30. And then you play the game. It's kind of like that South Park episode. Um, so, you know, there, there, are, there are lots and lots of ways that you can play any Souls-like game that makes it significantly easier. Now, if you're the kind of person that has never played a Souls-like game or you don't want to research how to do that, the best thing I can tell you for Elden Ring is if you get to a point where you don't feel like you can progress, it's just too hard. And a great example of this is this guy. His name is Margit. If you just follow along from the beginning of the game and you follow these little things, and it's like, oh, this game's kind of fun and easy. Oh, this, is, this game's kind of fun and easy. Oh, I got this, we're good. Then you get to Margit and the game's like, you know what, F you. F you and, and you're fun. Just, just all of you. And the thing is, is that a lot of people will get to Margit, realize that he's a 10 where they've only been fighting ones and twos and go, oh God, this is not for me. This is too hard. This is impossible. I can't do this. And in other Souls games, the only thing you'd be able to do is this. So traditionally, Souls games can be really hard because the only option you'd have is to like go to an earlier bonfire and just farm mobs until you're stronger. The same stuff that you just did over and over and over and over. That's what you did in older Souls games. But the reason I think Elden Ring is so good for new players, and this is the best advice I could give you, when you get up to a market, don't throw yourself against it. Hit X. Pick one of these. Say this one. Mark your map and say, I'm gonna come back there later. And then unlike other Souls games, you can just go off and explore in that one to two difficulty world. And you can get souls and you can get loot and you can get stronger. And then you can go back. And let me tell you this, fighting Margit with 11 vigor and 40 vigor is like you're playing two completely different games. Completely different games. One of them is incredibly difficult and rage inducing. And the other is, you know, a few tries and a little bit more tactical decision making. So that right there is the best advice I could give to you as a new Elden Ring player. Um, outside of any other tip you get, just understand if you get to a challenge that's too much for you, just mark it and go somewhere else. And, and by doing that, you will become stronger. You will get more levels. And when you return to fight that boss again, you will be better prepared. And if you fight him a second time and he's still too hard, do it again. Because I promise you he was easier that second time. And you basically just got to make him as easy to the point where you're having fun with him. Yeah. And you will do that. <laughs> you can farm yourself to the point where almost every required boss is a pushover. Like an actual pushover. You can absolutely farm yourself to that point if you want to. The um, curse mark. Thou but it's all to you. It's just whatever you have fun doing. Here. That is all I will say. Now. Be gone. I wish to serve you. Oh. Is that so? Thou wouldst render me aid? Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service, and good hunting to thee. That girl just read my soul. Okay. 
first of all, <clears throat> I want to point out that I very clearly said all required bosses become a pushover. Millennia is not required. <laughs> so let's just make that clear. Second of all, mods, if you could please ban um, Silver Saint 7. That's Silver Saint spelled normally with a 7 at the end. Just, just get him out of here. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, but I want your and particulars. And there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. Also, heed not their peculiarities. Hey, bud. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst? I am sure the others will be doing just the same. You could actually outskill gravity by alt f 4 the game before you die. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. Thought about it. But it wouldn't be in the spirit of the run. Speak with the three who yeah. await thee below. But I definitely thought thou about it. Thou not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service after all. Okay, I think that's good, right? Speak with the th thou needs yeah. not. It hath been a. Pa I try to insult Ko all the time and never get banned. That's not fair. Yeah, sorry. I'll try to make it easier for you. Mods ban. Wait. <clears throat> ban me right now? You won't. No. What happened to the cat stand beside you? So I used to have a cat stand back there for Dimitri, but he stopped using it. So um, I moved it. Now he kind of chills out behind my keyboards. I, I, there's a little bed there that he uh, he likes to hang out in. So mm -hmm. a little bit closer to me now. Mm -hmm. You need to farm more souls. You're not strong enough for a band. Exactly. That's a pretty cool look. I like that. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Dude skipped leg day? Dude needs about 50 leg days. Um, <clears throat> did T-Dog just get banned? Oh yeah. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I who forgive me. Okay, that's all. Let us give all that we can of our together. Together for Lady Rani. Together. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. I'm sorry, mods. <laughs> I gotta stop banning people for fun because we have all of these like we have entire scripts that run when I unban or when I ban people to like ban them everywhere in our service. So I just banned T Dog as a joke and he got banned from both my channels, the Discord, the website, the mobile app, just everywhere, just gone. He's just he's been erased. And now I gotta go back and clean all that up. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Dang it, T Dog. Making good jokes. All right. Hmm. And from the internet. Long time friend. Blythe. If you forgot. <laughs> Damn, Co got those Thanos scripts. <laughs> Mistress Rani. Well, that's right. right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. Okay. I'm going below through the See if I can't Great. keep me waiting. So we're all caught up with him, and actually we'll go do him next. We'll go we'll go do that next. Yep. I see. You must be Rani's new hiring. Oh, thanks, King. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. 
I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorceress. Preceptor. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished provincial like you, tarnished like but you. since we have the misfortune I love this guy's of serving voice so much. the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. He's such a dick. <laughs> I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes Are these of ghosts? my lady? No, no, no. They're they're um they're like uh cell phones. Yeah, this guy's actually in his tower. Uh, Blythe is actually chilling down at the bottom, and EG is chilling over in EG's spot. You know, it's like, they're just projections. Holograms. Star Wars. Mm hmm They each have holograms. I'm going below to the West Eve. Do you think the holy element will be potent in Shadows of the Erd Tree since almost every boss in the main game was resistance to it? So, you know, that's a really interesting question, and a lot of people have asked me that over the last week, funny enough. Um, oh, Teclios. Uh, sure? Yeah, it's fine. We can do that. Just make a tips thing i don't know um so what i think here here's the problem here's the problem there are there's been nothing said from what i understand from from software there's been no public commentary on the fact that the bosses are very wholly resistant which leads me to believe that they're not like you know it doesn't lead us to believe there's gonna be any change and then on top of that the two different ways to look at this are does from software listen to community feedback in which case the community shouted too many holy resistant bosses or are they going to continue the theme of the game of holy resistant bosses into the dlc which would also make sense so the, the tldr is i don't think anyone knows like the devs have not said anything and there's been no illusion either way so i i, I don't think anyone can answer that question right now unfortunately ah uh. Allow me to forewarn Yeah, FromSoft just does their own thing. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. Okay. I'm old. What does TLDR mean? Uh, in summary, TLDR means too long, didn't read. So a good way to think about it is if there's like five pages of information. And then at the very bottom, it was like TLDR dash. Topic of the paper is this. <laughs> like that's basically what it is. It's like, it's like the, the cliff notes at the bottom. TLDR dash cliff notes of whatever was above it. Yeah. <clears throat> I shall soon and it will be some time. I have high look. Great, great, great. So we're all done here. I think we can leave now. We aren't able to leave until we talk to her a second time after we talk to her generals. So we can continue. What's wrong with my foot? Is this a D's nuts joke? Wait a second. <laughs> Deja Vu Neoni says, Oh God, I didn't know that's what it meant. I thought it was some Latin bullshit and was using it in work for years. Really? <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> it's like people that use et al, thinking it means and all. But it's like, hmm. Yeah, I've, I've done the exact same thing. I've definitely used Italian stuff completely inappropriately. Yeah, that's that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a very real thing. Mm -mm. What does et al actually mean? Uh, it means like, it means an all involved and others. But the thing is, is that people think it means and all. So a lot of times they'll be like, yeah, I picked up all of that, or I, I picked up those at all. And it's like, no, <laughs> no, you didn't. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's they're more academic things, absolutely. Academic citations and things like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good try. Good try. It was a good attempt. Good good effort. But for every one of those, for every one of those I can call out as being wrong, I probably say ten that are wrong myself. So, you know, not exactly uh not exactly killing my own ratio here. It's like leaving lorem ipsum on a template. <laughs> all the all the default Italian text on your template stuff. We're never too old to learn. Hey, truer words have never been spoken, man. Truer words have never been spoken. And if you're learning, you're growing. Growing till the day we leave this planet. And the only thing that can prevent you from doing that is yourself. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Nice. Do we want to wear this? Nah. I like I like our current helmet. We're paladin-y. <laughs> Ye old Italian. <laughs> well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Provincials. Uh, oh. I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? It, no, it's Italian, uh, Chad. It's not Latin. It's Italian. It's like it's not English. It's Americanese. Accept the task. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. It Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. Does Lorem Ipsum even actually mean anything? Uh, it's based on Dolorum Ipsum, which means pain itself, which um, describes the majority of the jobs that would type that into a web template. Um, internet coders, web designers. Um, that essentially is, is what is what that means. Their their jobs are, are terrible, horrible, um, and and it's it's mainly just a, a dissertation on on those facts. Mm -hmm. Cobra, where the potion can be used in a couple different ways. Yes, we know. We actually have this super cool little guide here that we have been using, and this guide shows us exactly what to do, and we're quickly getting up to the point where we're going to need to start referencing this again but we are we're doing right now um the stuff here with salubus and the only thing we need to make absolutely sure is that we don't give the potion to where's the potion giving with it's over here yeah so we need to make sure that we give i think we're gonna give the potion to dung eater because we're not going for his ending so I, I think we're going to give it to either Dung Eater or no one. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Um, what is this page that I'm looking at? This page is in ko.tv slash erquestmap. Ko.tv slash erquestmap. We'll take you right to it. It's a Reddit thread. Mm-hmm. And that's just a quick link to it. Uh, keep in mind, the other link in the ER Quest Guide command, the ER Quest playlist, will actually take you to a step-by-step -step guide. So if you're wanting to have like a playthrough where all of the quest NPCs are done and alive, then you're going to want that second guide because it's a 274 step-by-step -step process to make that save file. To be clear, lorem ipsum is not Latin. It has no meaning. Yes. To be clear, lorem ipsum is based on the Latin delorum ipsum, which means pain itself. Yes. And that is Latin. Yeah. <clears throat> There's no such thing as keeping everyone alive. Yes. Where did I get that? Uh, Google. I just Googled it. Okay. <laughs> What about DeLorean Ipsum? 
Uh, that was the car in Back to the Future. That was the DeLorean Ipsum. Thank you for the map. For sure, dude. Enjoy. Yeah, if you're just like playing Elden Ring and like aren't anal about keeping everyone alive, but kind of want to try to, that's what the quest map is for. It's great. It's perfect for that. But if you do want that perfect playthrough, use the playlist. Definitely use the playlist. Let's go over here. I think I think there's something over here we want. I don't remember what it is, but there's there's this whole big area over here, and I think I think we went here in our last run, and we we're glad we did. No, do not kill the dog. There's a jail over here? Is there? Okay. Which, which one? Black Knife Electo? is not a super familiar name. Oh. oh. Nice. The only prison I know around here is the one you stole my heart from. Dude. Careful. That's how you get into his panties. Hold on now. Slow down. Slow down, big guy. All right. Uh, oh, we can summon something here? Oh, no. Why can we summon something here? Kills right up there too. Yep. Ring a ding, 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 dong. I'm going to try to man mode these little guys down. Oh, God. There we go, you jerk. All right. Concerning. Oh, we're good. 
We've been playing Nine Souls. Uh, don't know yet. Maybe. Encounter's a boss. No, bosses have bars. Kind of like my rap career. Yeah, yeah Barry. Barry uh, and Susie. That won't happen again. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're good. Uh, the Everjail's up there. Is there anything back here? Like we got all the important stuff. What are you guys doing here? Wait, what? Why are you all here? Nice chair. Oh, they're also Albinorix? I mean, they're silver like them. I didn't realize that they were like totally non humanoid Albinorix, too. That's weird. So I guess there's like lots of different types. Juvenile? Oh. That was a kid? That looked like a zombie. Hmm. Not like that. What advice do you have for somebody just starting out with Elden Ring for, for the first time? Uh, check out my highlight from like half an hour ago. <laughs> it would be that. Yeah. I think. Would probably be the best advice. Is this game hard? Can be. Absolutely. Is there a grace near here? Or do I have to ride up from the bottom? I think I do. Yeah. We did get a grace pretty close. That was painting secret stuff with the man pointing out there. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I appreciate that naked superhero. <laughs> that that's that is that is absolutely a take. Yes. That is a take. <laughs> This game hard? No. You know it's hard? Vietnam. That's really hard. <laughs> but no, this game kicked my ass as hard as shit. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's do it. I will say, I really like in this build that we can just like walk up to people and just like toe to toe them. Feels pretty good. <laughs> like, I mean, we just we just walk up and like, oh, you want to fight? 
Shield up. Sword up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's fight. All right. You want to fight? I'm not jumping around. I'm not doing little flips. No dodging. Let's do it. Mano a mano. We're slugging this out until one of us is falling. Feels good. All right. Uh, let's see. Boom. Excellent. Ew. I didn't know they had a little eye on the end. Creepy. Kind of cute, though. All right, let's go. Uh, So, this area is done. Is this a thing? It's kind of like it could be a thing. Have we done the Blasphemous Blade run? I don't think I've ever used the Blasphemous Blade, but it is absolutely something we're going to look at this run. It might become our main weapon. I don't know. I don't. I've never used it, so I don't really like remember the stats or its move set or anything like that. Is that what I was looking at? Well, oh, that was it. Okay, yeah. There's nothing over here. 